Welcome back to Top 5 Auto Repairs. In today's topic, I'd like to talk about bad brake caliper. So the first most common sign of a bad brake caliper is going to be sticky brake caliper. In other words, your brake caliper is seized. So when your brake caliper is seized, that means this piston over here can no longer move out or move in. Usually it's caused by excessive rust and buildup of moisture and dirt inside the uh, seal. So when your brake caliper is seized or sticky, you're gonna notice all sorts of symptoms. For example, number one, you're gonna notice grinding noise. So what happened is that the, uh, the brake caliper is constantly causing the uh, brake pads to rub against the rotor. So that's gonna cause that grinding noise because it's always constantly rubbing. When it's constantly rubbing, you're gonna notice uneven uh, brake pad wear. For example, as you can see over here, I got this removed from a vehicle. And you look closely, this brake pad over here, the material is a lot thinner than this side. So as you can tell, it's gonna be uneven wear. So basically, this side was probably on the passenger side, and this side was probably on the driver's side. So the quickest and fast way to tell whether you got a, a seized or sticky brake caliper is very simple. All you gotta do is try to compress it. So all you have to do is get yourself a brake pad or any flat metal and go ahead and put this brake caliper compressor to it. You could either use this one over here, which is probably about not that it's not that expensive, or you could get yourself C clamps. So preferably, I like to use C clamps, but for example, I'm gonna use a proper tool, which is a brake caliper compressor. So all you have to do is just try to compress it. And if you try to compress it, and you're unable to if you're unable to compress it or hardly even move at all, then you know that you got a sticky or seized brake caliper. So the second and most common cause of a bad brake caliper is going to be a leaky brake caliper that's leaking brake fluid. So it's easy to tell if you got a leaky brake caliper. If you see brake fluid on the inside of the wheel or rim, then you know you got a leak somewhere and most likely it's gonna either be caused by a leaky brake caliper or a bad brake hose. The quickest way to tell that if you got a leaky brake caliper is very simple. All you have to do is just take out your wheel and visually uh, look at it. So as you can see here, I have this uh, brake caliper that's been leaking for a while and it causes all sorts of boot up over here. And if you look carefully, if you pull behind this dust boot over here, you can see that it's been leaking quite a lot of fluid. So that's the quickest way to tell that you got a leaky brake caliper. Some of the classic symptoms of a leaky brake caliper is going to be spongy brake pedal when you're stepping on the brake pedal. You're going to notice um, your brake fluid is constantly running low. And you might even find that the brake pedal is going to sink all the way to the floor when you're stepping on it. And lastly, you're going to notice that you just can't stop, period, because there's no hydraulic pressure in the brake system and there's nothing for that pressure to cause this piston to plunge outward and you cannot stop and this can potentially cause an accident. The next common symptom of a bad brake caliper is going to be your piston. On some vehicle, for some reason, especially domestic vehicle, what I have noticed is that this piece over here tends to break off into pieces. When that happens, it's gonna cause the uh, brake pad to go crooked like this because it's missing that piece right there and it's gonna cause uneven wear. And lastly, you're gonna notice that you're gonna have some sort of drivability issue. For example, if your, your piston is plunged outward because it is seized, it can cause the uh, brakes to start dragging. You may notice that it's difficult to go forward sometime when you're stepping on the, uh, the gas pedal. Sometimes your vehicle can't even move at all. Also, again, if the brake um, caliper is seized, you may notice that when you're stepping on the gas, sometimes you may feel like your vehicle may start to turn on one side. That's simply because it is stuck and most of that power is going to that one wheel is going to force it to go on one side when you're stepping on a gas pedal. I hope you found this video useful. Thank you for watching. Subscribe to Top 5 Auto Repairs.